NCM Learning Center. Good morning, friends. Now I am going to discuss about Karma effect. It is one of the very important topics for government examinations for triple students. So now in this video, I am going to explain first what is Karma effect. Then I will discuss about what are the causes for Karma effect. Then what are the ways to minimize Karma effect? How can how we can minimize the Karma effect? Then, drawbacks of corona effect. If corona effect happens, uh, what, what are the drawbacks? Finally, we will discuss some previous year questions that I asked in these concepts. Okay. If you know the four concepts clearly, you can answer any questions from the corona effect concepts. So, uh, try to listen the concepts very clearly. First, we will discuss what is corona effect. Okay. Let us consider two conductors are placed near to each other without contact. Okay, this is a conductor, two conductors are placed very near to each other without contact. Now I am going to apply a potential at a conductor. What will happen? A very high potential. What will happen? Air between the conductor will start to conduct. So the arc will be produced between the two conductors. Okay. Uh, the same phenomenon happen in the transmission line also. In the high voltage line, when the line voltage is higher, uh, the electrons, electrons in the conductor will try to escape through air. Some electrons ionized with air. So, in this time, some noise and luminous effect happens. Okay, that effect is called as corona effect. In the transmission line, when we apply the high voltage, the high voltage means pushing pressure, pressure to the electrons. When pressure to the electrons is higher, the electrons in the conductor tries to escape from conductor to air. That effect is called as corona effect. At that time, some noise and luminous effect, light, some brightness with the noise will happen. Okay. This is the corona effect. What are the causes for corona effect? The main causes is voltage gradient on the conductor increases, causes the corona effect. Voltage gradient on the surface. Okay. Voltage gradient is directly proportional to VC means line voltage, line frequency and inversely proportional to the radius of the conductor and inversely proportional to the distance between the conductor. This is voltage gradient. Okay. Just remember this formula. Corona effect mainly happens due to the voltage gradient on the surface. If the voltage gradient on the surface increases, corona effect increases. The voltage gradient is directly proportional to the line voltage, line frequency, and inversely proportional to the uh, radius of the conductor and inversely proportional to the distance between the conductor. Okay. So, B is critical descriptive line voltage. F, line frequency or radius of the conductor, D, distance between the conductor. Critical descriptive voltage means voltage, line voltage at which corona starts to appear. That voltage is called as critical descriptive line voltage. Okay. And also, voltage gradient is inversely proportional to air density. If air density is lesser, voltage gradient will be higher. So, in the rainy season, the air density is very minimum. That is why, in the rainy season, corona effect will be more. Okay, because in the rainy season, air density is lesser. If air density is lesser, voltage gradient on the surface will be higher. Voltage gradient on the surface is higher, the corona effect also higher. Okay, so remember this formula, voltage gradient formula, the two formulas. Okay, so this is the process for the corona effect. Next, ways to minimize corona effect. How we can minimize the corona effect? If you know these two relations, we can say first one is mainly the minimization of voltage gradient. How to minimize the voltage gradient? If you minimize the line voltage we can minimize the voltage gradient. But it is 
possible but somewhat possible is not uh, somewhat possible we can minimize the supply voltage very very minimum level we cannot minimize the supply voltage very minimum level in a generation station power generation is constant if i am going to minimize the voltage what will happen definitely the current will be increased if current increased i square or last will be increased so last will be increased so voltage should be higher we can minimize the supply voltage up to the very minimum level okay second thing by minimization of supply frequency it is also not possible uh, because we have to maintain the 50 hertz frequency okay third case by increasing conductor size it is possible we can minimize we can increase the conductor size but the cost for the conductor space conductor may be increased by increasing the conductor size we can minimize the voltage gradient because the voltage gradient and the conductor radius radius of the conductor is inversely proportional so if the conductor size is increased the voltage gradient will be decreased if voltage gradient degree decreased current effect decreased voltage gradient and supply voltage is directly proportional so if supply frequency supply voltage and frequency will be directly proportional okay if you minimize the supply voltage voltage gradient will be minimized if you minimize the supply frequency the voltage gradient will be minimized but if you increase the radius of the radius of the conductor conductor size then only the voltage gradient will be minimized because inversely proportional okay fourth one by increasing the distance between the conductor d distance d and voltage gradient is inversely proportional fifth one by increasing the air density because air density and voltage gradient is inversely proportional so by increasing the air density we can minimize the voltage gradient but it is only possible by the natural natural okay if we increase the smoothness of the conductor surface the current effect will be minimum this is another point we have to include that okay increase the smoothness of the conductor the electrons will not try to escape from the circuit surface of the conductor okay this is all the minimizations but drawbacks in the power transmission line the electrons try to escape so definitely power loss will be happen second the noise if uh, if a combination line is near to the transmission line the interference will happen interference with combination line then line insulation will be damaged the material insulation may be insulation will be damaged finally nice this is the drawbacks okay. this question is asked in tnb 2017 examination a examinations first one corona, corona loss increases with Increase in supply frequency is correct because voltage gradient is directly proportional to supply frequency. Voltage gradient is directly proportional to supply frequency. So, if supply frequency increases, voltage gradient will increases. Voltage gradient will increases. If voltage gradient increases, current loss increases. Okay, this is correct. The second conductor size increase in conductor size. If conductor size increases, increases voltage gradient will be decreases inversely proportional. So, current loss will be decreases. So, the first option is wrong. Second one, increase in supply frequency is correct. Reduction in conductor size. Reduction in conductor size. If, if conductor size is reduced, voltage gradient will be increased. If voltage gradient increases, current loss increases. So option B is correct. Third one, decrease in supply frequency is not correct. Option D also not correct. And decrease in if the supply frequency decreases, voltage gradient will be uh, decreases. If voltage gradient decreases, current loss decreases. Okay. The second question is. Uh, this question is asked in TNEB 2018 examinations, A examinations. Corona loss does not depend on atmosphere. It definitely is depends on atmosphere. Voltage gradient and air density is inversely proportional. So it depends on atmosphere. So the and option A is wrong. Conductor size definitely corona loss depends on conductor size. Okay, voltage gradient and uh, conductor size inversely proportional. So option B also wrong. Line voltage, voltage gradient is directly proportional to line voltage. Just depends on current loss depends on the line voltage also. But the height of the conductor is does not depends on the height of the conductor. So option D is correct. It depends on the distance between the two conductors, not on height of the conductor. Okay. Third questions. This question is asked in gate 19. Current losses are minimized when the voltage gradient and the conductor size is inversely proportional so if you if you 
reduce the connector size voltage gain will be increase voltage gain will increase color will be increased so option a is wrong smoothness of the connector if smoothness of the connector is increased then only the color will be minimum so option b also wrong third point is related to so option c also wrong option 4 is right how sir what is current density current density means the ratio of current by area okay so area cross sectional area is depends on the radius radius of the connector okay if current density decreases if current density decreases what will happen area will increases okay is inversely proportional current density and area is inversely proportional so if current density increases if current density decreases area will be increases if area increases here it increases means size of the connector increases radius of the connector increases if size of the connector is increases what will happen voltage will be minimum voltage will be minimum means corona sir minimized so option d is correct okay that's all thank you thanks for watching click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for notification like comment and share